my role within Extern is as the project manager of Extern Homes. Um, and a number of years ago, uh, Extern had made a decision to to look into how they might help the impending problem of homelessness. Um, born out of, out of some of the tragedies that happened on the streets of Belfast, Extern decided that not enough was being done and that they wanted to make a difference. Um, and, and so they set about looking at a, at, a, at a model that might help that in some way. Um, and two and a half years ago, maybe just over two and a half years ago, I was appointed then a project manager to go and start purchasing properties in a way that would help people who are homeless back out into the community and, and help them sustain their life in the community. Um, so we set about doing that and predominantly our portfolio, for want of a better term, is, is now at, at 10 properties. Um, in predominantly in North and West Belfast. Um, and it wasn't just about, as the award said, it was more than bricks and mortar. The project is very much about supporting people to sustain life in the community. Um, and people who have, who have had some difficult situations in their life and difficult backgrounds and difficult um, issues to deal with. Um, as, as, as homelessness will show you um, uh, throughout the sort of sector within homelessness. Um, so, as much as it was about purchasing properties and becoming a landlord and, and, and providing those properties for people, we wanted to make sure that we also were providing the necessary supports for people. So we identified certain areas that certainly we believe would support people in the community, not least assisting them with uh, welfare benefits and, and some of the difficulties that there are around, around sustaining benefits in, in the current climate, um, connecting them with services within their local communities. Um, and, and providing them with uh, tenancy support or floating support services, some of which we provide ourselves as extern. We have a variety of services that do that, but making sure that that support was appropriate to the person's needs. So obviously looking at other providers and, and, and working with them in partnership to provide that support. Mm -hmm. But the big thing for me that was really important was the engagement with tenants. Um, uh, I've certainly learned in the last two years of the project being live uh, that to, to be a hands-on landlord and be a so supportive, socially conscious landlord is, 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 is much, much better than having a standoff approach. Next Turn Homes is certainly not a standoff approach. It's very much a hands-on approach. And, and I would sort of say that to each of our tenants, that you know I'm here to, to not just make sure that the building's safe, but make sure that they're safe too. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things that, that I was keen to explore within the project was how, how do I go about engaging with tenants? What is what is what is the best way to engage tenants or make them feel part of the project? Um, and certainly, uh, I sort of was always keen to look at how I could professionalise, I suppose, what, what it is what it is we were doing within the project, and and strategically looking at what was out there um, uh, to ensure that we were doing it doing it right and doing it right within the eyes of different strategies. And obviously, the tenant participation strategy, which supporting communities um, and empowering communities. Um, uh, have been asked to sort of roll out and, 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 and stand over in Northern Ireland was, was, was very, very, very important for me. Um, and so I, I was invited to or applied to, to take part in, in the training program uh, that, that supporting communities or empowering communities present, uh, provided around ten, the tenant participation strategy. And it was able to show me some key ways in which, as a, particularly as a startup project, how I was in a very I suppose enviable position because I could start at the very beginning <laughs> of this, um, uh, and so, and equally, it, it, it told me that it was something tenant participation is something that that is very flexible and can be very flexible. Um, it doesn't have to be all encompassing and huge. It can just be what it needs to be to suit the clientele or to suit the tenants that you're working with. Um, but I set about inviting tenants. Uh, uh, to to come together, to come together and talk about their experiences thus far uh, within extern homes, um, and and offering them the opportunity to to feedback to me personally about about how that was going for them on an individual basis, obviously because that's something that we do as a as a as a supportive program, but then on a on a, on a group basis, um, it has never been called a tenants forum just yet because obviously I'm looking, I'm hoping that the tenants will. Will um will 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 get to a level where they'll name it or call it what they wish to call it. Um, but certainly we set about doing that, and we had a few tenants, not all the tenants, but we had a few tenants uh, coming together to talk about the structure of those meetings, what those meetings might look like. Um, 
and, and, and what are the areas in which they believe coming together they could work on or, or, or start to change as far as feeding back into the project and how, and how I might develop the project. So, um, so we're key to find out, it's key for us to find out, and the only way to find out whether or not it's working is if we ask, if we ask the people that we're supporting. So, you know, the idea is that the, the, the exit survey and questionnaire will, will help us tweak things, change things, move things drastically if, it's, if, 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 we're, being, if we're being told that it's, it's not working or it's not fit for purpose. Um, uh, I mean, I might have nearly 20 years of experience in the homelessness sector, but I've never been homeless. So how do I know? <laughs> you know, so it's it's vitally important. Yeah. Uh, the opportunity came to to take part in the training um, uh, for uh, around the tenant participation strategy and tenant particip participation work with empowering communities. Um, I mean, I could see the fit straight away. I could see I could see the connection as far as what it what it was we wanted to achieve. So it was a great a great opportunity to 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 lay some foundations and some groundwork around. Okay. There's a strategy out there that I need to be seen to be working towards, um, and that's great. The forum now is a great way of actually coming together with other practitioners and finding out and hearing from them about what's working for them, what's not working for them, how uh, how you can work better in partnership, how we can share practice, um, and how that then can can work to fit in with the work that each of us are doing around the table. So it's a fantastic opportunity, as I say, as, as are all forums, about just being very open and, and, and honest about what's working, what's not working, and, and, and yes, picking up ideas and, and adapting that to their own work. So it's a great, great opportunity.